Hare Krishna. When life is uncomfortable, thank God that it is not unbearable. We all experience discomfort at times. It may be because of uh, exhaustion, loneliness, overwork, stress, even boredom. And as the very word suggests, being uncomfortable is not pleasant. It, nobody wants to be uncomfortable. At such times, what do we do? How do we deal with that emo and discomfort sensation? One way is that we could just feel bad. Why am I feeling like this? Why is my life like this? And that will only aggravate the situation. When our emotions are going in a particular direction, a very powerful way to prevent the aggravation of the negative flow of our emotions is to short circuit them. Now, just like if a current is flowing in a particular direction, we don't want it to flow, short circuit it, then it doesn't reach there. So, Similarly, we could short circuit the negative flow of emotions by suddenly look by immediately trying to think of something far worse. So when life is uncomfortable, we can thank God that our life is not unbearable. Now, there are millions of people in the world who don't even get uh, basic food to eat, who don't know when their next meal is going to come, who have to sleep hungry. There are millions of people who don't have a home above their heads. There are millions of people who are sick and in mortal pain because of horrible diseases. There are millions of people who are living all alone uh, without anyone caring for them. And uh, like that, in so many ways, life could be unbearable. And the Bhagavad Gita tells us that this world we live in is not a pleasant place. So it says in 8.15 Mamu Petya Punar Janma Dukkhale Mashashvatam Napnuvanti Mahatmanaha Samsiddhim Paramam Gataha It says Dukkhale Mashashvatam Actually this world is temporary and it is a place of enormous misery. So uh, we, uh, so it's if you are feeling uncomfortable, well, that is not unexpected. In fact, we could say uh, being the uh, life being uncomfortable is less than what can be expected. Is better than what can be expected. Less bad. So actually, this world is full of distress, and life could very well be unbearable. Now, as soon as we recognize that our life is not as bad as it could be, as so many other people's lives is, immediately. That thought creates positivity within us. That thought short circuits the buildup of the negativity within us. And we are not just doing some mental adjustment over here. We are actually doing a realignment of our emotions with the reality of the world. So, and further realignment is that if we turn towards spirituality, if you understand, as the Gita says that, we are souls, we are parts of God and we become devoted to God. Then we can raise our consciousness above the world and its distresses. So if we strive to apply ourselves for connecting with Krishna in moments of discomfort, then the first thing will happen is, the first connection can happen is just by that thankfulness. Thank you that things are not terrible. And then after that we can connect further by by prayer, by meditation, by scriptural study, by practical service and as we become more and more connected with Krishna, the discomfort will disappear and we will feel absorbed and enriched in our eternal Lord. Thank you. Hare Krishna.